Hi there, this is Professor Eric Steinhardt, and we're going to continue talking about Plotinus with his Parable of the Two Spheres. The Parable of the Two Spheres starts with the lower sphere. Plotinus says, Let us then make a mental picture of the material world. It contains the sun and all of the stars with the earth and sea and all living things as if exhibited upon a transparent globe. This is the picture of the geocentric cosmos, with the Earth at its center, orbited by the moon and sun and planets with the outermost sphere of fixed stars. You will thus have in mind the gleaming representation of a sphere. This is the lower sphere. Now, here's what it looks like. It's got matter at the center, and the rest of the universe is structured matter around matter. The world's soul then surrounds the universe, and the divine mind surrounds the world's soul. And finally, the one surrounds the divine mind. And in a certain sense, the one is above and beyond the sphere. It's an infinity that transcends the sphere, but sort of forms its outer uh, boundary or limit. That's the lower sphere. That's the cosmos. That's the universe. That's reality that we grasp with our senses and through science. Now, for the ancient world, it looked like this. <clears throat> the Earth is at the center. It's the most material of all things. Surrounded by water, you've got the oceans and so on, lakes and streams which float on the Earth. Then air, the atmosphere, which is above the water. And you've got the moon orbiting the Earth. Right? Now, everything below the moon is in time, they believed, right? sublunary, below the moon. So you've got earth, water, and air. Then above the moon, the moon and above, the moon shines, right? it glows, is fire. Everything above the moon is some kind of fiery thing, some sort of pure fire. You've got the sun, which in their day, they thought orbited um, the earth. Now, not everybody thought that, but that was the common Ptolemaic um, cosmology. And then the planets, right? Uh, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn. Uh, they orbit uh, even further out in the solar system around the Earth. Remember, this is geocentric. They believed the Earth was at the center. You've got the stars out beyond all the planets. Uh, and this is all eternal. Everything above the moon is eternal. Uh, now, I put God in this because this is really kind of more of a medieval picture. But um, what we should put there instead of just God is the world soul, the divine mind, and the one. But we know that matter inverts things. And the lower sphere is an inverted mirror image of the higher sphere. So Plotinus says, keep this lower sphere before you, and, before it, and from it imagine another sphere, a sphere stripped of magnitude and of spatial differences. This is the higher sphere. Ignore your natural tendency to think of everything in materialistic terms. Call on the one, the source of the higher sphere, and pray it to enter your vision. And may it come bringing its own higher universe with all the gods that dwell in it. It which is both above the gods and all the gods, where each is all blending into a unity, distinct in powers, but all one God in virtue of that one divine power, manifesting itself in many ways. Here's the higher sphere now, right? It's the inverse image of the lower sphere. Uh, in the lower sphere, matter is at the center, but in the higher sphere, the one is at the center. The one emanates and is surrounded by the divine mind, uh, which emanates and is surrounded by the world's soul, which emanates and is surrounded by the universe, and finally, which has matter as its outer limit. Matter sort of subtends everything. Right? It's underneath. It's like zero. It's beneath everything. It's uh, the outer limit. Now, the thing about the higher sphere and the lower sphere, they're not really two different spheres. They're not two different things. They're the same thing, the same reality seen from two different perspectives. The lower perspective regards the reality as the lower sphere. The higher perspective regards reality as the higher sphere. The higher perspective is correct. The lower perspective is a mirror image. It's an inverted image of the higher perspective. You see the lower sphere when your mind has inverted itself. You see the lower sphere when your mind has flipped over, right, and fallen asleep. The lower sphere is a dream world. Thanks.